video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can quickly add a new gradient layer. Now first thing to do, just quickly go over here to layer, new fill layer and gradient. Click OK. Once you've actually got that you'll see the first gradient be that gradient there. Now I'm going to select the gradient. These ones are from graphic extras. You can find the gradients on that side. Of course you can use any other gradients as well. So once you've actually got that, say click that, and then click OK. And now, well that's basically it. But you can actually edit it, of course, you just double click on that again. You can turn it into radial, angle, and so on and so on. So I'm gonna put it back to linear at that point. You can also move it around, you can change the, it's live, so you can just edit it. I'm just gonna cancel, because I don't wanna change it at this point, because you can also, of course, duplicate it. You can just go over here, layer, duplicate layer, and it's just a layer like that. So it's just duplicated. And then what you can do, just double click on that and you can go over here and say select that. Click OK. Well, once you've actually got that, of course, what you can do, you can go to darken or overlay and so on and so on. So you can actually vary maybe difference and you can see you can create different types of designs very quickly using that. Now, what you can also do and that's probably even better is probably use it as a smart layer so smart object so just going to go back to the gradient layer so i've got the gradient layer there what i can do then is go to a layer smart objects convert to smart object now it's converted i can actually now i'm just going to apply effect so just going to go to filter i could go to that twirl there which i'm going to do in a sec i'm just going to go down to distort and twirl and just add that you can apply any of these effects so just don't have, doesn't have to be 12, just click there. You've got that design there. Now what you can do then, you can actually also just duplicate that. So duplicate that smart object, click OK. Then you can rotate that. I'm just going to rotate that around. And I've got the 12 there. So what I can do then, I can just go to a lighten or difference. And you can see you can create a whole range of different sort of twirl designs just by modifying that. And you can also, of course, resize that to a degree so just rotate that around and you can see a variety of different designs very quickly via that. also you can still go back and click on there and if you want say you want to change that you can just quickly go there and say i don't want that one i can actually just go to that one of the standard default gradients click ok and click there save and then you can see the end result now, since that was obviously that's connected, you see you get end up with this new design. Now, also what you can do, because it's a gradient and a fill layer, what you can do is just go over here to the mask and then you can just add gradients to that. So you can just drag that down there to actually modify the end result. So again, of course, I've got a difference there, follows that perfectly okay. And you can also go over here and apply a variety of effects. So you might say, Gaussian blur, so you can just blur that, click OK, and you've got that applied to that design there. So, great way of, and also, of course, again, it's a layer, so what you can do, you can just quickly go to layer and duplicate layer, click OK, and you can see now you've got that design there. And again, you can obviously rotate that around and change blending modes, darken, Maybe not so effective this time, but you can create a variety of designs using masks and gradients and the fill content. And okay, that's basically a run through of things. Of course, as with everything with Photoshop, there's even more things you can use, combine it with adjustments, you can use layer effects, and much more with these gradient fills as well. Hope you found that of interest. Thank you much.